Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> hey, what's going on everybody today? It's the man child. Okay, so today I finally got in my 1-6 uh, scale Mundo Shira figure from the Mundo 1-6 scale Masters Universe line. So pretty much she was a uh, pre-order not that a few months back. And it was, she was supposed to ship in, I think, in the spring of 2023. And then next thing I get a confirmation in my email, and here she is. <laughs> so, you know, the box looks pretty cool, though. You got this slipcover image here. But I think this was the Crystal Castle toy, from what I remember. I think my friend's sister had this share line, this castle, when I collected Motun today. But it's pretty neat to give you all that art. And flipping a box around with the slipcover still on it. Get some, looks like, filmation art, maybe. Shearer's headdress pieces, it seems like. The crystal and kind of things you would see in that filmation cartoon or art-inspired images. And removing that slip cover, you get treated to this awesome piece of art. That is incredible in itself. Look at that. So you pretty much got Shira holding the power sword up. And look at all these cool characters in the background. You got, it looks like Scorpio. We got a Horde Trooper, Dial Mug, Cal, another Horde Trooper, Modulock, and Octavia. That's really neat. They, they added all that. I'm surprised you don't see Hordak or something, but it's cool what they gave you. And then you got that little signature piece of art that was on a slip cover. I guess it's supposed to be showing off her headdress or uh the shield or sword with the stone a combination or something like that filmation but that's i love that art alone on the box and checking out the other side of the box it's just more cool art again looks like uh that cross from he-man's cross armor with the you know the back image and actually this is the front of the box i believe i had it backwards um with the, all the characters and again like a, a sketch the master universe logo mundo sticker and sure princess of power all right, so spinning the box around. So yeah, it's the front and back, I think. Let's see. Okay, so it opens here like that. Wow, look at that. All right, and oh my God, look at that. It's actually a window. I didn't expect, I, I forgot how these boxes come, but look at that, how everything's laid out in here. That's awesome. And you can get some more, right? You get an image of the figure when she's all set up. Wow, that's so cool. And taking everything out of the box real quick, look at all these accessories you get. There's a cape and uh, it's just the layout. It's, I don't even know where to start. There's so much cool stuff. <laughs> And here's a quick look with the Mundo share out of box, just as she comes when you take the plastic off her. Well, this is the most incredible share I've seen yet. I mean, now you're getting a 12-inch action figure, right? Bigger's better, but it's the detail. It's just, you know, we there's a cool one in Classics and a Masterverse made a really neat share. But, I mean, it, this is as good as it gets, obviously, with the detail, the size, colors. Unbelievable. All right, and she stands pretty well. What's really interesting is they give you this cool figure stand, like a Kaiser type. I'm always talking about that stuff on my channel. So my figures in the background have some type of Kaiser instead of some foot peg thing, and then they just lose some of the joints and fall over. This is neat in itself, but um, what you got to watch is these little black ends. If you get one of these figures, you can see that they scuff up her white dress. They put a black scuff, okay, across. Like all back here. And you take a little rubbing alcohol, comes right off. But yeah, I don't, you got to be careful of that. I am very happy to give you a cool figure stand now. So bringing Sharon for a closer look. I mean, yeah, look at that face and head sculpt. Unreal. Love the way the eyes, the blue in the eyes, and the, lips, the way the lips are done on it. Um, As far as the articulation. So let's see, okay. Well, it's kind of tight there because of the hair left, right? She can go down about that far and up. Now, seems like the traditional headpiece is filmation spar i want to say obviously a better detail because it's mundo but check this out so this is how you would pop here's a closer look at it right front to back but this is kind of how they decided to do this um so she has yeah, a hole in the head there the face right to change other pieces into on each side of the um hair that the head there but she also comes in another hair piece i'm gonna bring it in for a second so this is kind of going accessories real quick they look like, very identical to me so, and what you would do is you'd pop this piece off, right? So, that's kind of like what her head looks like without the hair on. Check that out. And then going back to the two different hair pieces, um, I don't know if the color is different, but as far as sculpt, they look very identical to me. All right, so getting back to the face and head without the hair pieces, this is the one it comes with, and the other one was the spare. Now, what they do, they also give you is a little um, piece in the front if you don't want to use any of those head masks. So I'm going to put this piece back on as you came with. So it snaps on like this and it goes forward. And then you get this little piece here, which is really cool. And then this little hair piece has a little square peg that will snap into the top of the forehead. It's supposed to cover it up. But see the gap in there? So I'm wondering if the other head piece is different. So let me change it out and see if that makes an improvement with this hair piece. So I have that piece on. It matches the hair. It looks pretty good. But see, you still have the holes on the side of the head and there's no other additional pieces at least with my figure that, I, that came in the box, if you just want to display her without one of those, um, one of three headdresses, 
or the face masks that go on. So these are the three different head masks or head dresses that Shira comes with. Now we have the Filmation one. This is the one she came with in the box. This also looks like a Filmation Spire one, but a little more better sculpting. Maybe something between the classics and Filmation or something in art. So you can check that one out. And this one seems like something goes back to the toy or the origins, or I think the classics came with this one too. Um, where people, I think it was a mistake where the kids were using them upside down. They weren't right, but she gets that one too. So getting back to this outer hair piece or this set of bangs, you want to call it that, and this vintage um, inspired mask that came from the original vintage Shira doll or the Origins has now. Um, that's basically what this piece is for. And the mask will sit up like this. And even with the ha you have that little gap in between both hair, the pieces of hair, this will hide it. So it's kind of what that looks like. You know, it's front and back. And I also noticed that. And I wonder if this can... I know that there was a... The kids used to put this upside down. I talked about this with the origins. I don't know if that's going to work. So let me see if I can flip this mask around and use these um, eye pieces in the eyes with this hair piece and see if that works. All right, so it sort of works. You can get it more or less. But the pins, see, they can't... You can stretch them back like that to clip them in. You might get one side in. But this little hair piece gets in the way. It pushes this out and you can't get the pins back on the head. So it's not really meant to do that. But if you wanted to do that, mess around with it. You can't get it to work. So here's a look with that alternate one on. Just You just take that head little head piece off, snap that on, check that out. I like that one. It's really just the detail on it. It's so much cooler. Okay, so moving on from the head armored and head dress pieces. Um, yeah, there's a lot involved with that. But we can check it. So as far as the arms, the articulation, I mean, go up, back, forward. Got a hinge joint in there. Got bend at the elbow. Excellent articulation. Spin around. Got these cool, uh, you know, the gauntlets here. And they're all... I think they're all part of the arm, it looks like. And she comes with two different, couple different hands. The one in the box comes with just a pair of open hands. Like, you can see, like, a little split ball joint. They could spin left to right. Spin all around. Um, yeah, you can see there's the straps in here, the way it's all sculpted. I love all this, just the dress, the paint. Now, it's all part of the sculpt, obviously, the whole dress. So, is these, yeah, I think these straps look like they might be separate sculpts with glued in. She's got these little shoulder pads on there. They also, uh, oh, okay, so they lift up, too. See that? You can see all the, the way to cross traps going the back that's separate but this is all the main dress is sculpted the other arms are all the same um but look at the detail in there just incredible all right, and this little belt piece too so this can come off and you can change it out I'll take it off for now as you see it's a little latch that clips so it's kind of look, she looks like without it and then she has you know, she spin at the waist here with the dress go forward and back a little bit not much there's no ab split just the, the cut there in the waist and the dress is pretty soft and here, cool details, like, yeah, dark bone white color, or dark, like, a, um, it's not a bright, but a dark white color. It has some wash, too, like highlights, and almost like a gold, this spray around the creases, looks like, all the way in the front and back. Love all the little gold trim and detail in here, and, of course, her centerpiece, the stone, right, front and back. Oh, and this is a separate piece, too. Okay, so the dress is. So with that dress piece moving, I guess I did that with the, for the articulation. Let's see what the legs, so the legs go, okay, all the way out like this. And we go, let me see, maybe that far, as far as a front kick, a bend all the way to the knee. She's got like a double, all right, knee joint in there. I love these boots too. Look at that. Pretty cool. She spin. All right, so she doesn't spin at the boot. She spins at the knee. Okay. And they're kind of, it seems like they're all sculpted to the feet, looks like. Um, and you got the foot too, all right? I'll go see. Go for mine too. It's only going to go down so far, maybe forward, maybe down and up. And it could spin like this and it doesn't even rock. It doesn't seem like I'm mine. Front and back. And the other boots are all the same. And she sort of do a kick like this. You know, if you had her standing up. Not that high. And then the, leg, the other leg go back about that far. That's all the articulation as far as the legs. And what do you expect for a 1-6 scale? It's pretty good, you know, just for her size and aesthetics. Okay, so moving on with the accessories. She also comes with this alternative belt piece. So this one we'll just remove. It's, it's like a little snap in the back that comes off. And then you'll clip this piece back on the same way, but it doesn't really hold well. The material's like too soft. It's got to kind of mess it around with it. But once you uh, get in position, it's kind of that's what the front of the belt looks like now on the dress. All right, shirt also comes with this cool cloth cape or short, like a short version of the cape, right? And it's the it's like the inside and out, and got these little metal hooks on there. So I'm putting a cape on. Has like I said, it has these little hooks, and I don't. know. It looks like you could put it on the cross um, straps here, but there's little spaces in between the shoulder arm and here. It looks better to me where you clip it through maybe it's hard and this way if you put it on this way you scratch the body up and it doesn't it, it's like i don't know one one or the other i'm going to do it this way though 
Okay, and I got the other side on. As you notice too, I had to, uh, yeah, I took the hair piece and everything off. It's a lot easier. Um, the other thing too I noticed with these two hair pieces is that they look identical, but one has a, uh, you know, it's a space in it, and so does the other one. After looking up online, it looks, looks like I should have gotten a solid one, I think. And this one's for the uh, alternate sword to stick out, what, what, I, what it seems to me anyway. All right, I got our hair piece back on and the head. The, piece on the head and here's a cape and there's a bendy wire inside it too it's got this nice gold trim around it you kind of bend it and conform it however you want the cape to look blowing in the wind or just straighten it back out flap and i'm gonna just kind of crawl it up a little bit like this all right so this is what i have so far i got the cape on right and i'm gonna keep this headdress or that mask back on i like that one the, um of all of them uh and i also put the original that belt piece back on because this one just has a qc issue it's too soft See that little plug in there? It just keeps popping apart, the hook. I mean, maybe once I put it on, you can wrap something around a piece of tape. But yeah, that's a, that's a problem with some of these type of um, straps are too soft. So moving on with the other accessories, you get two other pairs of hands. Now, I have a, it's a semi-closed hand. It's in a gripping position for a sword. You can open the fingers up, right? That's for the um, left side. And then I got three identical closed hand punching fists. You know, one for each side and then an extra. So once again, I think like my hair piece, I was supposed to get another semi-closed or open hand with the fingers to move for the other side, the right side, and I didn't. They gave me duplicates. So since I only have one open hand or weapon holding hand for the left side, let's see. So I'll pop the peg out, that hand like so. We'll put this one in. And there we have it. So I can only hold the sword or weapon on the left side. I can't do nothing with the right, you know? I got an open hand, which this is completely useless, and a punching fist, three of them, <laughs> which is completely useless for each, for each side. Wow, unless I modify one, try to cut the fingers open, but usually, you know, maybe she's uh, right-handed. I don't know. I, I usually like keeping the sword in the right hand and shield on the left. That stinks. So checking out here is other accessories. We also have the Filmation power sword. This is awesome. I love the way this come out. The color on it, the way the stone is inside it, just the uh, overall size and look. We also get this cool axe comb. The classics did something like this. Where, and I think the vintage here just had the comb. You were able to brush the girl's hair or something. But I, I like that they converted that weapon. So we get that. Get this really cool shield. All done in the gold. I got a little stone in it. So it's just painted anyway. Really heavy. It's the front. And there's the back. And straps. You also get another uh, sword and a sh um, sheath there, which is pretty cool. Has like all the uh, straps around it. Looks like it just clips on. It's two clips on a strap in the back. Pull the sword out. Look at that. Nice gold. Um, just like, I guess Mundo's own, similar, like own design or something. I don't remember seeing this in a Filmation or the uh, Classics, but it looks reminiscent of the Filmation sword. That's awesome. You get the old done in gold, same thing, jewel in it, leather handle. And for last accessory, you get a big version of Cal. That's pretty cool. I like that, the way he came out. I have the Classics one, a small one. It's the alternate color version. I never got this one. I think it was in the pack I was missing or something. But I love the way the paint's done on them, the ears. Um, and it does have articulation in the, at least the, the arms here. I don't think the hands move. Legs too. No, it didn't look like the articulator head, a beak maybe. So it's just the hands stand up. That's pretty cool. I like it that we uh, got that with Shearer. So moving on to some of the weapons set up in Shira's hands. Now, I obviously, I put her Filmation-style sword in the left hand because that's the only hand that I have that is open to hold a weapon. So you can check that out. Seems to hold really well. Looks cool, right? And then I put the shield in the right hand with the open hand. Kind of see how it holds the straps there. Doesn't really do a good job. You would need the other hand in a closed position to grab the strap. I mean, I guess that's the point of those open hands is you hold the shield. You kind of like form it, but you check that out, what she looks like, what everything's set up. And I also, as far as the figure stand, that metal holder, I changed it out with a spare one I had it from a, uh, I have other 12-inch figure stands that have different wire, um, the hip holders you want to call it. And this is an extra wide one. So I like that one better. It fits in this base piece, right, very similar to that. And it doesn't scratch up the dress like the one they gave you. So I did change that. So getting back to one of the punching fists, because they gave me a spare, right, or just mixed the parts up or something. I actually modified this one for the right hand. You can see I drilled it and sculpted it open. I got the finger, the thumb to move. All right, this little hand, it's, uh, yeah, it ain't the best job, but it looks okay. You won't see it. I mean, yeah, something you shouldn't be doing with your brand new $250 Mundo figure. But it's uh, easier to do this than try to deal with them with parts. And you can see before I put the hand in the right side. 
it's going to fit this sword or any of the weapons. Now, it's not, it's not as flexible as a sculpted hand unless you modify it more. And the more you drill it, the more you're damaging the, the uh, tips of the fingers. But you can see how well it holds this uh, alternative power sword. All right, and there we go. Now my sure it can hold dual wielding swords, or at least something now in the right hand, being I sculpted it open. So the fingers, you you know, close up is sort of missing because it's sculpted in. It's not an actual sculpt; it's a mold. So you're cutting away, as you can see, the fingers stick out on this side. You know, when it's just, it, when it's in a certain position, you're not going to see it. I don't even know I'm going to keep that on, but I just wanted to have an option to hold the weapon on the right side. So check that out. And now I put her battle comb axe in the right hand, and I put the shield in the left. Now you can mess around with the strap to hold it. It kind of falls in and out. It's it's kind of a weird setup. I think you're better off with the open hand. Even then, it's tricky, but take a look at that setup. And then I switched the filmation sword in that right hand that I modified, and the comb axe in the left. So you can check that setup out. And getting back to the sheath and sword that Mundo gives you. It's kind of their own design, I think, right? We know how well it fits in that sheath. That's what it's designed for. Obviously, how it, the size and the color. But the filmation sword does fit. I'm going to check that out. But it doesn't hold well. It's not designed for that. So to use a sheet or put it back on to shear, you're going to have to take the cape, the headpiece, all this stuff back off again. And you can see these little clips. They're going to clip on to this um, back strap here. And it's designed to stick off to her right side. And I think that's the point of that hairpiece with the space in it. And obviously, it goes under the cape is to let the sword stick out where I should have got a solid piece if you didn't want to use this. So I'm going to clip this on. I'm going to check that out. And here's what it looks like clipped on to the strap with both clips. You got to really take your time with this stuff. You know, it, it's, I'm not going to do it on camera, waste time, be boring, but it, it's, it's so easy to snap something to scratch this body up. So just take your time, clip it on right, and so you don't do any damage. And you have to also position this up and to get this clip back onto that strap piece, you got to be really careful. You know, you got to like lift this shoulder armor up, just kind of work that in there. And then you're going to put that hair piece back on. So you're going to slide that open end of the hair like this over the sword and sheath. And then you got to clip it, going to mess around with it and clip it back onto the head. Okay, and this is pretty much how I'm going to set my shear up. All right, I got the axe comb in the left hand. I put the the extended hand back in the right, put the shield on just for something different. I kept the power, the filmation power sword on inner feet for now. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Sword in the back, hair piece. I like that headdress on. Um, Kate looks so awesome. We have Cal at the bottom there. It's a shame Cal couldn't, his hands weren't formed. I could have him hold the power sword or something. Um, I can modify a piece of wire, but otherwise, I think the Mondo Shear is just it's a gorgeous figure. It, just the accessories. Articulations, cool your cal, different weapons. Does have some QC issues though, and you have to be very careful setting this up. You got one if you can take it out of box. Yeah, and I'm wondering how many people get duplicate parts like the hairpiece or the hands like I got, you know. That that doesn't help. But beside that, I'm really happy I got her. She was a Mundo exclusive figure. She was a pre-order that was sold. And maybe they'll get more in stock. You know, if not, they are on eBay for a lot of money if you really want one. So I appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, take care.